Now we're going to talk about hiding and unhiding rows, columns, and tab sheets within an Excel workbook. You might have instances in which you have columns that you, you'd like to include in your workbook file, but you do not care to display, or you'd rather suppress them so they're not visible on your screen. You can do that quite easily with rows of your choice or columns of your choice. And you can also hide worksheet tabs. In this example here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at perhaps a, you know column G. Maybe we don't necessarily want that column to display. What you do is you can right click where the column letter is. There you have your drop down options and one of which is hide. Notice that unhide falls right beneath that. If I choose to hide column G, I'll then notice that the worksheet skips from F to H. To unhide, it's simply a matter of clicking the letter of the column to the left of the hidden column or columns, dragging over and selecting as well the column to the right of the hidden column or columns, then right-clicking when they're both selected, choosing unhide, and that brings my column G back. Now it's helpful to know that even if there are calculations and formulas and equations in columns within your spreadsheet, hiding a column does not affect your calculations. In other words, if you hide a column that's included within the computation of a result, the result will not be affected simply by the fact that you have hidden columns. Now if I want to hide several columns adjacent to one another. <clears throat> Say for example I don't want to see 2006 bonus or 2006 gross information. I can click and drag both of those columns so they're both selected. Right click in the letter headers representing those columns. Choosing hide. Now my spreadsheet skips from column D to G. To unhide, I'm going to click on D, drag over to select G as well, right click, and then choose unhide. And they're back again. If I want to hide rows, I can click on the row I want to hide, right click on that row number, and there I have the option to hide it. And now you see it jumps from 6 to 8. To unhide, I can click on 6, drag down such that both 6 and 8 are selected. The hidden row exists between the two that I've selected. I right click, I choose unhide and there's my row 7 again. Now it's very easy to unhide columns and rows. Uh, if, In other words, if you receive a worksheet that the columns or rows have been hidden in, or if you send to someone a worksheet that you've hidden rows or columns, there's nothing preventing you know, yourself or the recipient from unhiding them unless there's protection applied within the worksheet or workbook. That's a, a separate topic, and we'll talk about that somewhere else. Um, this is just simply how to hide and unhide columns, rows, and sheets. Now looking at our sheets, say for example I want to hide the summary sheet. I can right-click the tab for that sheet at my lower left. I have the option there to hide. Unhide right now is unavailable to me because there are no sheets currently hidden. I'm going to select hide. The summary sheet has disappeared. To see if I have any hidden sheets and to unhide them if I have any sheets hidden, I can right click on any of the other sheet tabs. I now have the unhide option available to me. I select there and then it will show me a list of sheets that are currently hidden. In this case there's only one. With that sheet selected, I choose OK and that brings that sheet back on my screen.